The chat does help, though. It really does. The interaction from the chat, the, you know, the, the jokes, the memes, the all, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's your, your way to interact with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, fire off your, your takes here, fire them off in the take cannon. Drop us a line here in the comments section if you're watching on the archive. Yeah. Standard hand going thus far is off the $10 straddle. Julian. And we got a set of trays. We have to a set of curries, a set of Lillards. Lots of threes. Yeah, I'm really surprised again with Julian just checking it. Uh, Kenan, Kenan's check back definitely makes sense. There's going to be some, you know, there, he can disguise his hand quite, quite uh, favorably. And Pop out through the woods. Just check that 30. Again, this is a spot where Ace King with the board pairing is is ahead, and so I definitely don't uh, disagree with the call in Julian's spot. Unfortunately, he's drawing dead, but and that's going to be a pretty bad card for him. This is a spot where I think he should probably be leading um, on this river, and I like it. Yeah, it looks like yeah, he's going to go for it. He's gonna get absolutely get, gonna get raised here. Yeah, he's Julian. But he's, well, what do you think this raise mod has to be? I, I would do favor. I, I would do kind of large in this spot. It looks like he's gonna go a little small though. It's like 250 or so. There yeah. you go. So the thing is, I, and I don't fault Julian for considering a call here because if someone has a flush draw, they're right. likely going to be betting that on the flop. And so whenever the turn goes check call, this is. Uh, this and this river raise doesn't make a lot of sense, and I would think that Julian can can conceivably think that he beats a lot of, of hands that would still raise this river, both bluffs and uh, and worse kings. So and he's got the ace of spades in his hands. So right. It's like there you go, three is full, good there for Kenan. Ten dollar straddle back on. And it looks like we've got a new player here. We got Joseph and the sheep where we had. Uh, Randolph, Randall. And, like, was it Randolph? Randolph? Oh, okay, Randolph. Got up yeah, yeah. Left with aces. Yeah. We've got a new player here on the table. Is hopefully the seat treats him a little bit better. Cool. Best, oh, no, I can't. Better luck for him for the next player. As <laughs> all right, Bones raised up here with Jackie. Two to Julian Flax. Canal in the mix here with the suit at seven six. Sharing a lot of spades. Doc in there with Ace Jack on the small blind. Seven six, seven six uh, suited here on the button is a just a fantastic squeeze spot, especially with his image. Oh boy, this could be. Some this trouble, is going to be though. action, yeah. So you've got uh, combo draws for two players and a set. That's pretty intense. This could get very, very big pots. <laughs> yeah, you have straight draw and flush draw for two players. So you have bones, bones that checks here. Julian here with Middlesack gonna bet it. A pawn of 155. I'm very interested to see how Ken approaches this here. It looks like he's gonna call. So, I, I met Bones. Bones absolutely puts money in this pot. The question is, does he raise in this spot to push out Ken? If Ken has, let's say Ken has a queen jack, queen or jack or king queen of spades, right? He can get he can get better flush draws of kings to fold in this spot. So yeah. maybe even has like a like a ace three of spades or something like that. Like it's. I really like the line here. You know, Julian's not going anywhere. He's got about one point seven remaining left in his stack and. Is this a, a bet sizing he's looking at now, and it just says, why don't we just get it in, or is he's, it one if you're in Julian's shoes, you're just let's flat it. So let's let's say the five is a is a uh, an offsuit, right? So you have a uh, uh, multiple multiple suits on the board. So you have three suits on the board. Um, let's say it's a five of hearts or a five of diamonds. I think flatting is the optimal play, but I think with the board texture uh, being a little bit more wet in terms of. Uh, Having more flush draws opportunities, I think shoving in the spot's much better. All right, and we've got the jam here by Julian. And I think the bones, bones just, can't just pull here. yeah, he just pulls. Too big of a draw. Yeah. And in this spot, he's just like, please don't have ace nine of spades. And as long as he doesn't have ace nine of spades, he's like, all right, cool, whatever. <laughs> so again, a couple of spades folded out, so that takes a little bit of the equity away, but still, uh, he's gonna bones. make it though. The straight there for bones. 
two or three years time would be the main focus all happening singularly at once so it's yeah just, this year will be in the school books for sure yeah it, it is <laughs> I mean, we've had a good year here at TCH Live. I think I've had personally a good year even amongst the struggles, but it's, it, you look collectively at it and you're just like, all right, we, we've, we've got a lot to sift through ahead and just try not to go crazy. Yeah. So we got Rob raising here in the cutoff. Here to bet the 140. George not going to defend. Ace Queen is definitely going to be a defender. Hung Lee says, I wish California would open up the card room. That's we got Ooh, folks making how about their that way to come here to Texas from California. As Cannon flops and nuts. Rob here with I would like to see a check raise here with Ace Queen. This is this is a board that's going to connect with a tremendous number of hands. All the right, stack depth is, is pretty good. I think you have to start building a pod here. If you're ever if you're ever going to be maximizing value, I think check raising is pretty good. I'm gonna call though here as I think if you get a no, oh a nine out here, so Kenan be naming his price. Rob has got a lower straight ten. He's got the higher end of it. Pawn is about six thirty. I I can't imagine very many scenarios where all the money doesn't get in by the river. Especially after Rob's bet here on the turn is. It's a big bet too. It's almost a pot size bet. All right. Bet of 450, 10 and well, it's got about 2008 back. So it's got Rob slightly out chipped. So, what's the plan here, right? With stacked ups. I think this is one of the, like, something like a min raise would be fantastic, I think, because it sets up a, a very good river shove. Um, maybe, maybe making it something like 1K even. Yeah, it's a slight above min raise. So there we go. He's just gonna go ahead and jam it. And so in this spot, he's just he's just hoping the other guy has a queen, and uh, looks like we're gonna get it in. Yeah. Rob does not realize he is about to get coolered. The Yeti cooler of the night there as Rob turns it straight with his queens, but Kennan had already flopped the joint. So work up to that level of metabolism. So I think that's also like. <laughs> Yeah, if you really go, like, I noticed when I dropped a lot that the further I got into it, the better my system was being able to just continue. But it's, it's a, there's, there's definitely it, a plateau that occurs. It's a slow build up to getting to that point where you can start. Yep. Might have some uh, shaping up of a hand here. There we go. We got a raise up here to 35. And black bones with Queens, Big Daddy Chaz, who will three that on the button. We're going to be heads up here, Yep. Um. Yep. <laughs> This is pretty close for Bones, right? So I think that it's it's uh, one of these things we want to four bet sometimes, and we want right. to call sometimes. Um, don't fault it either way. Folding is the only mistake here. All right, as oh, we read man. the board here on the animated limits, okay. 9940, nine, still the overpair. What a flop there for Bones. I think he's got to smile a little bit there. The nine tris out there on the flop. And Big Daddy Chaz. He's going to bet his over pair. In a weird spot, but Bones has been over this so well. So many times here on the stream. And he's going to check call. See what the, the board texture comes out here on the turn. And again, the bottom of your screen. There you go. Nine, so this could get really pricey. Here for the big daddy Chaz. I'm really surprised to see a check back. Wow, this pot has not grown to the size I thought it would, so. Let's see what that size I'm gonna get here by bones here on the river or maybe probably like in the vicinity of two fifty to three hundred is, is my guess. Because after the three bet and call gotta be thinking maybe it's like five six sevens eights 
Maybe tens from Jax, it could piece that together, but. He was a little bit larger at 325. And I'm not really sure what the, maybe he's considering raising in the spot. It's never a fold, especially once you check the turn. When you pot control the turn, it's never a fold. So I think he's actually having some consideration for whether or not to raise. That would be an interesting wrinkle in this hand that if. Yeah, looks like he might be going for a raise. about it. And I think that Bones is literally just going to snap the river. Like, it's just. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Because it's like, is, is Aces or Kings really going to check that turn there? He might some percentage of the time. But the thing is, you, you're just. You literally have. The, like, this is probably the worst. Like, you have one of the best hands that you're ever going to have in the spot. Like, there's just, like, you're not going to have very many nines. You know, so we're going to discount ever having quads. You're you're going to have kings. You're going to four bet some percentage of the time more than you would queens. Aces, you're going to four bet more. So this is, like, w literally one of the best hands he's ever going to have in the spot. You just can't fold this in. So, six, so 800 more for Bones. To call after Big Daddy Chaz pops it to 1,001 here. On the river, Bones got the best hand, nines full of queens. It's an interesting line by Chaz. Um, instead of betting turn, he's uh, he's looking to uh, raise the river instead. It's an interesting line. See Bones thinking. He's got the poor choices hat on. Folds here at. Uh, might need a beer if he realizes he folded the better hand. I just, it, it just doesn't seem like a spot that he's going to give this up. But I think Bones Bones wants to think out these. I, I've played in you know enough with Bones that in these spots he doesn't like to to make a quick decision. I think ultimately he's going to call though. Still thinking here as he ends up laying it down. Wow, that's really wow, tough. Gave it up. It's really, really tough. Straddle just, on, uh, just cross book with Matt, and then you'll yeah, have a bet yeah, you'll have to get, do. Yeah, just get a little action in there. I force myself to have to. You have to eat properly. Yes, and exercise and fix my life. I'm pretty happy regardless, but it's also like, okay, maybe it's time to get my fat ass in gear here as we've got to raise up by Kenan. Joseph in the mix, and Bones here to call off some sevens in the small blind. And sevens full there for Baron and Bones. That Trip deuces for Joseph. Crazy here comes the action. Oh my gosh, we keep getting this check. Kenan turns the flush draw here on top of it, so. That is 65. There are two flush draws on board. I can't imagine the deuce not raising. You're going to get an overcall. I, I suspect that Bones might be able to put in another, put in more money here. Oh, we get a raise. Is that yeah, raise? we do get a raise here by Joseph with trip deuces. Okay, so Joseph, sorry, I misread this in terms of where... Uh, where the deuce was. That's oh, right. So we got back to Bones here in the small blind. The Cannon squeezed in the middle there with a the jack high flush draw. Bones here had flopped sevens full. His opponent's got trip deuces. And that opponent's raising. So it's some flush draws out there. Like I said, he's so? going to have the ability yeah, to put okay. some more money on. And he does. And you get a shove and a snap ball. Boom. Joseph going to the last deuce, but I think that deuce has already been folded. Big stack bones. Big daddy bones. Going to pick up the pot. As about as ideal of a situation as you can get yourself into. Flop the sevens full. Your opponent makes trips. 
Uh, it looks like he straddled for fifty dollars here. Fifty big ones. Yeah. Did we get? What is, is this? A, another straddle to a hundred? I'm trying to follow. It. it looks like we might have a straddle to a hundred. So Chaz coming in with queen six, and he's gonna pop it up. 325, it looks like. King Jack can easily be a re-raise in the spot. I know that we start talking about a large amount of money, but if, if the big line starts essentially with $100, we're literally talking about a 3x raise. What an interesting hand this is probably going to be. So Chaz, Chaz all night has shown us that when he's out of position, he does not like to build pots. So this is a little bit different, so we'll see what what ends up happening here. I mean, he will when he's been the the, the, the like wrestler. So well, if he, he's, he's going to be you, the three better. If you remember, whenever he had king-queen with the uh, queen of diamonds, he check-folded this hand, and that was him out of position. Um, I, I kind of seem like a regular propensity to to really slow down action whenever he's out of position but there's a lot more money at stake in this spot so we'll see if if this will change his game plan at all turn card brings a, a flush draw and straight draw for him although it is a, a pretty poor flush draw and uh, technically the bottom end of the straight draw as well and it looks like we're in a barrel away man this hand is uh, so this one's going to be interesting man Kennen can never fold in this spot, uh, given that he has top pair. This hand is is a little bit bloated in terms of actual money, but we're looking at essentially an eight big blind bet, uh, eight and a half big blinds here. Uh, so if we keep the right perspective of, of the uh, the sizing, this should be a pretty straightforward call, especially, especially whenever we have the king of spades to fall back on. And it looks like he's actually going to push oh, the edge here. Push. And makes it 2,000. What a hand we have building here. So once he does this, I don't think he can ever fold. Like if he gets re-jammed on in this spot. But this should just be the end of the hand. I can't imagine uh, Chaz. The only other option he has is he can jam in this spot. But it's, I think it's, I mean, he does technically have uh, a double, uh, <laughs> A two-way straight draw essentially so he can have a seven uh or a ten it's a very weird way to have a double gutter uh, but he does have technically a double gutter if the queen is the is a spade oh he did shove if the queen is a spade instead of the six oh and he just oh, he shoves so there's your hand of the night oh right my there. god that was interesting you i called it ronnie this is insane uh well, the biggest winners, loser bonus, the big winner here in the game thus far, 3.8. Okay, Big Daddy Chaz up 2.4. Doc's up, Kennan's up. Rob and Julian down a bit here thus far. 